Welcome to our class about essential oils for support and relief. We are so excited that you are joining this class with us. We also do social media Facebook classes, and this is some of the information that we share, but we wanted to create a webinar so we can share um, who we are and you can hear our voices and you can respond and uh, connect with us. My um, Michelle McGrory, and Julie Homer, I'm Julie Homer, and Michelle is a certified aromatherapist. Yes, and we're so excited and that you're with us. And, and you have an amazing wealth of knowledge about essential oils, so I am so excited that you're here tonight. Well, thanks, Julie. And Julie, you're great to work with, labor and delivery nurse. It's awesome. I mean, you what you do with patients is amazing. And I'm so thrilled to be able to share our love of essential oils because it's empowering people all over, all over the country, really. Welcome to our class. For those of you who are here, please put a comment in the chat box and let us know, one, if you are a wellness advocate and you're enrolled and using essential oils through a company, and then put a two, if you're just using essential oils and you don't have a specific company that you like, um, but you love using All Things Natural, put a three if you're occasionally using natural products and then put a four if um, you're not using natural products but you're just interested in learning more okay I see a lot of ones coming up I see um, a lot of you are already enrolled in a company ours is doTERRA we love doTERRA but I know some of you are using other oil brands and um, we'll talk a little bit briefly because if you guys are already enrolled and using essential oils then you probably just want to know the basics about what are essential oils. So we're just gonna to touch that briefly and go into the meat of the presentation. Okay, well, what are essential oils? So if you've ever smelled a rose or another flower, you've experienced the aromatic qualities of essential oils. So essential oils are actually the essence or the part of the plant that makes it, it has therapeutic properties. So the, it can be found in the seeds of the plant, the bark, the stems, the roots, the flowers, and other parts of the plants like rootlets and rhizomes. And these essential oils come from the plants and we actually take them and use them for our health and wellness. And when you smell a plant like peppermint, the distinctive smell of that peppermint is actually that part of the plant that actually serves its purpose. Like, um, the arborvitae oil or arborvitae tree actually emits something that keeps insects away and it's, it's its scent and that's one of the reasons we use arborvitae oil is to keep um, pests and bugs away. So these essential oils come from plants and there's hundreds of essential oil plants out there. Not all plants have aromatic compounds that give us the oils, but the, the plants that do give us the oils are just amazing and there are hundreds of them. And they've been used historically for food preparation, beauty treatment, healthcare practices. I mean, they're mentioned in the Bible. Uh, they were in King Tut's tomb. They have been around for thousands and thousands of years. And they're amazing when you use them because they work with your body to help your body heal and to support different things. Like if you're having pain or discomfort or occasional nausea or anxious feelings, different ways to use essential oils. And they're very safe when you're using them correctly. And they help with emotional and physical wellness. And you can also, um, you don't have the side effects that you would have with using other products. That's exactly true, industry, Julie. When you're using essential oils. Mm -hmm. So it helps and to get to the root cause Whereas other things that um, we're using in our hospitals help just mask it and just cover it up like a Band-Aid, essential oils can help to get to the root cause and help your body heal. And um, I know a lot of people use them also. Some people are on medications. We're not telling you to stop medications. Um, you're gonna wanna talk to your doctor before using essential oils because you can use both of them together if you're using them the correct way because it can help support your body processes and a lot of them one drop is all that's needed for a powerful benefit for example one drop of cinnamon is equal to a third of a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and also peppermint one drop is equal to about the amount of peppermint in 28 cups of peppermint tea so these are so powerful 
So you're only going to want to use a small amount, but and a lot goes a long way. And we're going to talk a little bit how to use essential oils. Yes, there's three basic ways to use essential oils. So aromatically, that's the kind we, that's how we think about it when we run diffusers or put a, put a drop of oil in your hand and just inhale it because you're inhaling it and going to, through the olfactory bulb. And it can be very stimulating, but it can also be calming. It can be soothing. So you can diffuse essential oils. You can put them in cotton balls like we do sometimes with patients, putting them in cotton balls for them to smell. Um, putting them in the air, taking, you know, um, using the diffusers in different ways. And that's aromatically. And when you're doing that, it gets right to the brain very quickly. So that's one of the most used ways to use essential oil. The second type is topically. And when you're thinking topically, you're thinking, you know, applying it to your skin, like massage therapists use it. I, I use it for pain, like in my joint or to soothe discomfort in my joints. You can use it to soothe your stomach with digestive issues. So you're gonna apply it topically. And you know, one little square inch of your skin has so many nerve endings and muscles and, and sensors that it really gets absorbed very quickly into your skin. And the best place to apply it when you apply something topically is near the area of concern. But even when you're doing that, realize that it is gonna go through your whole body. So you apply it and then it goes right through your skin because Oils are fat soluble, and so that's how it's able to be absorbed through the skin. And you get immediate systemic response. It takes about 30 seconds to get into the bloodstream and about 30 minutes to get it through the entire body. So we have aromatically, we can use it topically, and the third way is internal. And you know, certain essential oils have a rich culinary history when we're talking about oils. I mean, when you're talking like rosemary and dill, there's so many oils that have been used for years in culinary practices. And they really give a lot of, um, you can use them not just in culinary, but you can use them taking internally in some gel caps. So a lot of ways to use the oils and a lot of different ways, even with like internally how to put them in gel caps or how to blend them. A lot of times physical discomfort can keep us from living an abundant life and it comes in all forms and for reasons and essential oils can help with a non-addictive way and it's very organic to help reduce soreness throughout the body and help to relax muscles, soothe joints, promote circulation, reduce head tension, calm and soothe any targeted area like Michelle just had mentioned to put topically so you can fill in in that area. And then it also helps systemically. It helps to protect cells from oxidative stress to help your immune system and also promotes feelings of peace and re relaxation. And so you may be having some, some areas of concern, perhaps your back hurts like mine does occasionally. And you're gonna, um, see how essential oils can help in those times when you need a little added support or you want to try something natural first. I have had lots of of success with this and I'm with you and feel free to make any comment as we go along ask some questions and we'll be um, we'll answer them with these slides and uh, so I want to know how many times a day could you use natural support for soreness and occasional um, discomfort in your body. Oh, I see a lot of you several times a day, right? Because maybe you're working, you're hunched over the computer, or you're a nurse like me, and you're walking 12-hour shifts. Um, it's it's hard, right? So let's let's show you how you can use these essential oils to feel better. Right, Julie. And you know when you're talking about using them more frequently. Less is more, so less, but more often is what really works. Because you don't want to just pile a whole bunch of stuff on one time and think that it's going to last you the whole day. So a little bit every so often, you know, if I have hip discomfort, I'm going to use my oils every, every couple hours sometimes. So, and you can also use oils like we, there's a great product, the um, Vitality the lifelong vitality and the things we put in our mouth besides, you know, when you think about it, our bodies are hit all the time with different toxins and what we eat, we don't get enough nutrients. We don't get enough antioxidants and omegas, you know, the core nutrients we need to really look, feel and live younger and longer really and, and healthier. 
especially with all the autoimmune stuff going out there. I mean, you look around, there's so much going on right now in, the, in our bodies and around the country. You see it every day, more and more people getting sick. So one of the basic ways to really try to stay healthy is to what we eat, nutrients. So one of my favorite things is the lifelong vitality, uh, the vitamins. And because it's got such great, I mean, they make it, they make it to fit exactly what you need. So it's, it helps with general wellness, vitality. It has antioxidants that really help our DNA protection, which is really important because when our DNA gets altered, that's when illness starts. It helps with energy metabolism, our bone health. You know, for people like me, that's really important that have like osteoporosis and stuff from, you know, as we get older and age and our estrogen levels go down for women, we're really at risk for, for osteoporosis or osteopenia. So to support our bone health, it's important. Also, these, things, these um, supplements help support our immune function, which is huge. They help us with stress management, which isn't just like being stressed for a little bit, you know, because maybe I got to take a test or go somewhere. I mean, stress hits us in all different ways all day long, whether it's finances, um, work, you know, environmental toxins. So really important with the, with the supplements. Also helps with cardiovascular health and helping keeping our hair, skin, and nails healthy by the right amount of vitamins and minerals, which also goes to with uh, your eye health, your brain health, your nervous system health, liver function, digestive fungus, fungus, I can't even talk, function, <laughs> your whole body. So really start from the basics. Start with putting a good supplement in and then move along with different things that you can use to support your body, especially when we're having discomfort. Right, Julie, there's a lot of people out there having discomfort. It's, I think one of the number one things that people ask me is what can I use for discomfort in my body? So Julie and I are going to go over some of the different oils that really work great for discomfort. And a lot of that is caused by inflammation. And what this pack does is help to increase the inflammation in your body so that your body can feel better. And uh, inflammation, That's true. And inflammation causes disease. Right. Um, chronic inflammation causes chronic disease. And they're measuring it now, Julie, you know, with the CRP levels. And there's a few other markers now that doctors are actually measuring to see the amount of inflammation in people. So pretty interesting. And because of the back discomfort that I have, and uh, it's occasional, I take the Life on My Vitality Pack daily and I've noticed my inflammation going down and I'm able to function a lot better. I agree. Same thing with my hip when I'm not something taking in it. That, I know, right? And something in it that, ha that it has is ginger. And ginger reduces inflammation in the body. And it also helps your body to absorb minerals and vitamins. So you need minerals and vitamins to be healthy. So that's what helps this pack even work better. There's so many other nutrients in it as well. But ginger is something that I wasn't able, we don't have in our slides, but I love that essential oil. That's one that is ginger is great. Gin ginger really is great. It's, it's very high in sesquiterpenes, which is really great for inflammation, um, cramps, um, you know, discomfort from bone pain. So it's, it's a great, great oil. You're right, Julie. It is one of my favorites. Not to mention that it also helps with um, digestive issues. Great oil. Amen. Amen to that. That's right. It's a good oil. This slide is titled, Need an Arctic Blast. Most of these oils that you're going to use on your bodies or your areas of soreness, like your knees, back, or your head, does anyone have this? You'll want to put it on those areas, and you're going to feel on most of these a cooling sensation. Because of the inflammation there, it helps to cool it and calm and soothe, and you're going to feel that. And I really, I love these oils that we're about to talk about. Right, and I don't, you know, for the for the discomfort in our body, oils like basil, bergamot, frankincense, myrrh, Roman chamomile, rosemary, wintergreen, all those are really great. And and you can, the neat thing about the oils are that you can actually combine oils, make your own blend for whatever's whatever you want to treat or or help support. So there's a lot of great oils out there for for working on discomfort. Um, and basil, basil is one of my favorites because it also smells great and supports the adrenal glands and it's great for discomfort. 
So Michelle's going to talk a little bit about the Soothing Blend or Deep Blue. Yeah, Deep Blue is actually one of my favorites because it really works. I mean, I, I have it at work and I can't tell you the number of nurses that come up and uh, have either they pull their back a little bit, hurt their leg, and we, we use a lot of Deep Blue. We laugh because you can smell it. You know, it's, it's pretty intense because of, of the menthol smell. But it's, it works great. You can rub on your muscles before and after exercise to actually reduce that discomfort because it actually helps, you know, get the blood flow going on it. I use it on my shoulders and neck to recover um, and ease my muscle tension because I tend to hold a lot of my tension, as a lot of people do, in their neck. You know, their shoulders get hunched up. And I noticed by the end of the day when I've worked a long shift, you know, my, I think my ears are attached to my shoulders. And putting a little bit of deep blue on really helps. You also, it's great for cramps, you know, put it on your lower abdomen, your lower back. It's great when women have their monthly cycle. It's um, one of the great, it's a really great oil. It's, you do have to be careful with possible skin sensitivity. So you sometimes want to dilute it, especially if you're using the oil part of it. Um, but it's a great, great oil. Um, Deep Blue is actually great for helping with like not just muscle aches, but like my bone pain when I get hip pain because it's got a lot of wintergreen and wintergreen is almost all methyl salicylate, salicylate which has like cortisone-like properties. So it's a great, it also, also has camphor in it and peppermint, blue tansy, German chamomile, helichrysum. So it's got a lot of great stuff. I mean, those oils are a great combination for helping soothe your aches. And I'm obsessed with it because I do have a lot of aches in my body. Um, and they also have Soothing Blend series or Deep Blue series. There's a lot of Deep Blue products because like Michelle said, there uh, most people have occasional a discomfort pain in their body and so this is help all of them really help soothe for example the deep blue comes in a five milliliter bottle or it comes in a roll-on it's pure oil but then it also comes in in a touch which is diluted for you then it comes in a rub like a lotion i love the lotion and what you can do is put the lotion on and the oil both of them and somebody taught me that trick and it's more powerful to use both and also there's a deep blue polyphenol complex which has green tea turmeric frankincense ginger pomegranate grapeseed and it helps to provide extra soothing support in your body to help decrease the inflammation and support the, the, the aching muscles that you're having. And also, um, it can have long-lasting benefits if you're taking it daily. And another, yeah, turmeric or curcumin, um, if you've seen studies on that, helps to decrease inflammation and just really, um, really good for the joints. It is a great, great thing, the deep blue. Um, just a word of caution, though, because it does have wintergreen in it, make sure if you're on any blood thinners, any anticoagulant meds, blood thinners, having major surgery, or have any bleeding disorders that you really check with your doctor before you're using it because of the uh, wintergreen's ability to inhibit clotting. Thanks, I, I, Yes, I love Deep Blue though, it's awesome. Ooh, the massage blend, that's a, that's a really great oil too. That's got great great oils in it that provide relaxing and comfort effects because it's got cypress, peppermint, which I, I do love peppermint, marjoram, and marjoram's been studied. So marjoram, there's a lot of studies on there that where it really does help decrease pain in that big study by Alina Health. So marjoram, basil, another one of my favorites, grapefruit and lavender. So it's a perfect blend that adds many important benefits to various you know, massage techniques, but you don't have to be a massage therapist to enjoy this oil because I'm not a massage therapist and I, I really love the oil. I use it on my neck and my shoulders to promote, promote feelings of relaxation. And like I said, with me, with my neck and my ears being attached by the, when I'm stressed, it really helps. So it's another one and it's actually not quite as strong as a deep blue and smell. So I use it at work a lot. And you, you know, a nice 
thing to do with this oil, Julie, is when we do our hand massages and when we help each other do hand massages or go around the hospital doing hand massages, this is a great oil for that. Also, you could put this in the tub and, you know, first put it in some Epsom salts or a carrier before you put it in the tub because it's not going to disperse if you don't. But the blend's great. It's, it's, one of, it's really one of uh, massage therapist's favorites and a lot of people just love it. I use like this it, blend, right? it's called the Aroma Touch blend, and I grab a big bag of Epsom salt from Costco, and then I dump a bunch of drops in the big bag and yes. mix it up with my hands until I like the scent. Uh, the, and then I put uh, maybe a cup in my bath. Um, you want to maybe start with less, but I've been doing this for a while, and I really, I love the Aroma Touch blend. It's very good for the nerves and it helps decrease inflammation and just soothing for your nervous system. It's one of my favorite blends, that and deep blue. And, and some people um, don't like the smell. I love the smell of how those oils blend together. They do. They, they do smell good together. You're right. And then rosemary is one of Michelle's favorites of essential oils. Uh, because it helps to create increase alertness, and I know that I'm um, not a good idea to use in the middle of the night <laughs> or go to bed with it. Because I know your experience, Michelle. Yeah. But I think um, um, how is it if you use it that also uh, increase alertness as well? You cut out for a minute. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Oh, it must have been my internet. Um. How has it ha worked for you? Um, I mean, when you use it topically, does that increase alertness as well? Yeah, because you're still going to get the absorption. But okay. my favorite way to use it to really help with the CNS stimulation or really increase my alertness is diffusing. So, you know, when you're, diffuse when you're studying for a test or working on something, to diffuse rosemary oil is really great because it really... It supports my brain for me when I'm doing it. And I actually feel like I can remember more. It helps me study when I'm studying for the concentration. So it's a great oil. And it also helps reduce some nervous tension. There's some studies out there where they showed uh, rosemary and the effects. And there's some going on right now with um, patients with dementia. So it's a great, great oil. Great for that. I mean, and not to mention the fact that the culinary aspect of it, you know, it's been around forever. Rosemary chicken and rosemary and pork and, I mean, it's a great oil. It's one of those oils where, yes, you can take it internally, but you always want to use a gel cap for that because it's very potent, very strong. I mean, and, you know, you have to be careful. And it's the one caution on that that I'd like to say with it's you have to be very careful with people that have low thresholds for having seizures. And so just be careful with that. Um, but it's great oil. Too. You what? You're teaching me stuff too as we go along. I didn't know about that one. Well, that's good. Every day, you know, the great thing, Julie, about oils is that it's a world unto itself and you can learn and study all day long and you're still learning and learning and learning because there's so many and there's so many different uses and new studies coming out every day. That's good. Yeah. I know that there are 1,200 studies on peppermint. That wow. Are not that's a number two essential oil in the United States. And we haven't even mentioned that on here, but some of these blends have peppermint. And peppermint's it. great for pain to help with discomfort. It really is. Yeah. And uh, in, yeah, that's why it's in our blends because it's very cooling. You know, that slide that said Arctic cool, really helpful with that. And um, that's what I love about the essential oils. You can choose which ones work for you. And then if it doesn't work for a certain thing, you can use it for something else. Like, that's exactly right. Food. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And change up, blend, try different things. So don't give up if you're new to oils and you've tried one oil for something and it didn't work or you felt like it didn't do anything. There are so many oils out there. There and they're I mean, they're it's not weird or voodoo. It's science based. They're plant based with scientific, you know, chemical properties. So that's where we get our drugs from originally. You know, the pharmaceutical companies took plants and took the chemical property of the plant, just maybe one or two of those properties and synthetically make them in the lab to make, you know, most of Western medicine where plants, I mean, we're using the whole plant when we do it, like the whole essential oil of that plant. So it's a living organism. And then when they take that essential oil, you're using that 
whole part of it. That's where they say that tolerance does not develop near as quickly as it does with synthetic drugs because it's changed. Every batch is going to be a little bit different. So, you know, don't give up on the oils if you tried them and didn't have any luck with one or two. And then our winter green, oh, this is good. You said don't use it if you're on anticoagulants, so, right? Because it is like aspirin and this one has a childproof cap on it. Same with deep blue, because you want to be careful because if you use it the wrong way or use too much or intake too much, some people you shouldn't use it internally, but you can cause your blood to be too thin and that's not good. So be careful with that, especially like on the blood thinners, but it's really good for discomfort. It comes from Nepal and it's really supported their community and their economy because when you buy wintergreen, it helps with houses in their area, their children learn to go to education because you know that there was an earthquake a little while ago and when you buy our winter green it's helping support their community that's what's beautiful about this company and it's in a lot of, i believe it's in deep blue is that right I can't yes remember. yes yeah, okay. so it's in deep blue and you can just also use it by itself a couple drops topically but i would dilute and you can maybe combine it with some other oils that we've talked about and yeah, so um, keep out of reach of children or babies. This is not for kids, and do not ingest the bottle. On any of these bottles, look on the side of it, and it will say either supplement facts or it won't say supplement facts, and it will say don't ingest, and this is one of them, not good. Some people do like to put it on their toothbrush. I am not going to ever recommend to put it in your mouth. I have done that, but then I just spit it out, and um, I love the flavor. I mean, because, yeah, wintergreen, I mean, they make it in gum and all that because mm -hmm, it's yeah. the food grade one. Not This is a pure essential oil. And you're right. Yeah, so and you know what else has wintergreen in it is past tense. Or that's the, right. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about that one in a second. We're going to go bergamot first. Okay. So our bergamot. Bergamot. Go ahead, Michelle. Yeah, this is one of my very favorites. It is the most delicate of the citrus plants. And I love citrus oils because they're very uplifting yet calming. And bergamot is a little difficult to grow, and we get our bergamot from Italy, which is great. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful oil. It's unique because it is really more uplifting and calming than like orange is known for that too, but bergamot is even more uplifting and calming. And it helps with anxious and sad feelings. You can also use it to cleanse the skin. It's purifying. It's great. The only thing, caution with bergamot, you can use it like in bath soaps and stuff where you're rinsing it off your skin, but you do not want to apply it to your skin and go into the sun because it is very phototoxic. It's one of the most phototoxic of the essential oils. But I love it, so I dilute it in coconut oil and make actually a rollerball uh, blend that smells like perfume that I absolutely love. And I apply it on my skin, but I do it underneath clothes that I'm not going, you know, that I'm not going to be sun exposed. You can diffuse bergamot. It's great, great, great to diffuse because it helps with stress levels. You know, when your tension's high, it helps calm you down. Um, you can use it, like I said, on the skin and showering. And actually in the shower, when you're inhaling it, it is so awesome. It's just a great, great oil. One of my favorite things to do is to put a little bit in my um, tea, and that's actually what Earl Grey tea is from. So when you buy Earl Grey tea, you're buying tea with bergamot in it which is kind of cool. It's great on your feet um, because it's cooling. It's, it feels so just fresh. That's what I think, I think it is about the oil. It's just a, a fresh, fresh smell. And it's, I use it in um, some of my skin creams at night, of course, areas that I'm not going to go out in the sun for 12 to 24 hours. It's great if you diffuse it with lavender. It's also great with vetiver or cedar wood to sleep. So there's different oils out there for sleep because I know most people think about just lavender, but bergamot is great for sleep too. So mix and match to find what works for you. But bergamot, great, great, great oil. One of my favorites. You like bergamot, don't you, Julie? Oh, I love bergamot. And the thing that I thought of is we're going to talk a little about head and neck tension is sleep. If you're not sleeping, you're going to have more tension in your body, more discomfort, more inflammation. I can testify of that because nights when I'm not sleeping uh, or 
then I have to go to work early in the morning. My body does not feel good and it's not rested. So by using essential oils and also eating healthy and having a good nighttime routine, you'll um, have better outcomes and you'll be able to function better in your day. And I didn't think about diffusing bergamot with lavender. I like that. Yeah. There's, a there's a lot of essential oils for head and neck tension. So we're going to cover those briefly. And I realize that this webinar is a little long, but you can hop back on later or listen to the recording. But we want to get you some good information so that you can use these essential oils. The next blend is the tension blend, or also known as past tense, like Michelle had mentioned before. This helps when you're having head tension, and or maybe it's really strong. It helps to reduce that pulsations and that feelings of tightness in your shoulders and your neck, and it's cooling, it's soothing, it helps also calm emotions. And I love this essential oil. My husband uses it more than I do because he tends to have more head tension, but it also helps reduce stress. And the top two oils, if you get any of these, are deep blue and past tense for the, the discomfort that you're having in your body. That's just my two cents on that. No, I agree. You're right, Julie, because you know, doTERRA is a great company that uses a lot of science. Obviously, they have top scientists and they make these blends and they're, they're put the best oils in there for, for what's needed, you know, with like with past tense. I mean, it's a great, great blend. And, you know, we can make our own oils too and learn how to blend, but they've got, these are perfectly blended oils to use for pain and discomfort and supporting our body. Mm, frankincense. Frankincense is one of the nicest oils to me. I just love it. It is one of the most prized and precious essential oils also. I mean, it was talked about in the Bible, you know, frankincense, frankincense is awesome. There's a lot of studies going on right now with using frankincense and using the frankincense, the actual resin. Um, it has extraordinary internal, external health benefits. I mean, it's talked about all, all through the Bible and with the Babylonians and the Syrians. Egyptians used frankincense resin for everything from perfume to salves for soothing skin. I mean, but it's still, what's awesome about this oil is though it was used so often in biblical times, we today are using it so much. And it, I really think it's be, really making a comeback with the frankincense essential oil because it's so great for your skin. It promotes cellular health immune response you can consume it you know that's the thing where some some people talk about consuming it internally some people know i have taken it internally and i've really liked it um you can inhale it or diffuse it, it helps with peace relaxation i use it you know i like to diffuse it when i'm when i'm reading my bible or just relaxing or or even doing yoga doing different things it's a great great oil for meditation it's known as the king of all oils. It also promotes cellular health and DNA integrity and the nervous system. It actually crosses the blood-brain barrier. So it's a great, great oil on all levels. I use it daily in my um, skin routine because it actually helps with um, scars and um, wrinkles. So it's a great, great oil. When I was brand new to oils, I would use my deep blue and then I had a thought to use frankincense. I cannot remember why, but I put the frankincense on top after I'd rubbed the deep blue and I put the frankincense on that area of, it felt like my muscles contracted and tight and just achy. I put the frankincense on top, rubbed it in, and I felt my muscle relax. And then I looked up at what frankincense did. It helps with the nervous system and also the muscles to really help to support healthy function. And from then on, I just knew frankincense has something special about it. So I do use it internally to help with inflammation and topically. Um, I've used it when I have heartburn. I, I mean, it, they say it's the king of all oils because it works for so many things. Has, um, isn't it like oil that has the most compounds in it than all other oils? You know, I don't know that if it's the one that has the most compounds. I'm not sure. But I tell you, yeah. um, when I, my experience with frankincense was when I was, you know, I do energy work. And when I was doing, um, I was actually having a session with my, my teacher when I was doing my healing touch spiritual ministry. 
And she actually put frankincense on my feet when she was working on me. And I didn't realize it. And she started working and it actually felt like my jaw was coming out of like my, out of my head, down through my feet. And I was like, what, what is happening? And then she told me later, she used frankincense oil and the vibrations and the energy work that she did with that oil was, it just totally opened me up. And that was one of the reasons I started using frankincense when I worked on my clients, because I just found it so amazing. So great oil. And then our monthly blend also knows as Clary Calm has a blend of essential oils, including Clary Sage, Lavender, Bergamot, and a lot of other oils. But if you're having cramping, I can tell you, I have used, and also moodiness that goes with your menstrual cycle. I can tell you, I've used the Clary Calm. It's a roller ball, and I've rolled it where I had that discomfort and cramping and i can tell you it really works it helps with um that that you're feeling the pain that you're feeling and also with the emotion so i'll put it if i don't want to use it for my cramps and i'll just put a little bit on the edge of my nose or a little bit behind my ears and oh wow i love it and it also helps for hot flashes and all those emotional swings you're having during your cycle you can also apply it to the inner and outer of the right ankle one to two weeks prior to your cycle. And I wouldn't use this if you are pregnant because it may stimulate labor contractions. So use it when you are not pregnant. Well, the seasonal blend is a great, great combo. You know, and right now, I don't know, Julie, if you know, this is like one of the highest years of, for the pollen count right now. So we are being affected with seasonal attack. With Everybody, you walk around, everybody's, you know, eyes are red, they're blowing their nose. It's, it's been crazy right now here in Vegas with the seasonal environmental threats that we've been exposed to. But the cool thing about the seasonal blend is it actually takes lemon, lavender, and peppermint, and they actually work together great to clear breathing and stimulate a healthy immune response. And it can help with your itchy throat, your watery eyes, your runny nose. They have it in um, mixed in the triese, the capsules. You can take it and make your own little blend. Um, for people that can't tolerate the peppermint, some people can't, then try the lemon and lavender. They're very calming. Um, lemon, you know, Lemon actually helps cleanse your body systems, and it's, it's used a lot for respiratory discomfort, and you wouldn't think about it when you think lemon, but it does. It helps with respiratory support, and lavender is calming and balancing, and peppermint helps with the clear breathing and the healthy respiratory function, so it's a great, great combination. You can take one to two per day as needed. Um, you know, you want to keep it out of the reach of children, and like I said, you can make your own blend, make, mix your own lemon, lavender, peppermint, make your own little stock blend and use it. So oh, and someone just said, I know, I love how these work together. So it looks like you guys are having some good results. Good. I love it too. It's a, they're great. It's a great combo. And I actually was listening to one of the um, essential oil summit and uh, a couple of the speakers were talking about lemon, lavender, and peppermint mixed for seasonal blends. So, and not just that, it's not just through doTERRA. I mean, that's, it's a well-known fact. So interesting. That's amazing. All right. Uh, we have a couple oils left and your, your nerves are in control of just about every function of the body. They control the muscles, organs, heart, lungs, blood vessels, teeth, and skin. And when those interceptions get interfered with you, um, you may need to soothe or stimulate the nerves, depending. And uh, so when, in, when having occasional soreness, um, it can be from nerves, disruption of the nervous function or the nerve function. It's, and sometimes it's debilitating. And there's a lot of good essential oils that we've mentioned, but I'm going to say a couple more, such as basil, eucalyptus, marjoram, peppermint, Roman chamomile, lavender, juniper berry, clove, helichrysum, and cedarwood. 
Mm, eucalyptus is a great oil. Great picture with the in the shower because that's that's really where eucalyptus works. So I, I mean, you think about it, right? In the shower, it just smells so great. You know, eucalyptus is is really cool. The trees are tall. They're big, tall evergreen trees. They grow about fifty feet in height. Sometimes people call them gum trees, but they and there's different types of eucalyptus oils. The one DoTerra uses is eucalyptus radiata, and um, it's got eucalyptol and alpha terpenol, which are great to help promote feelings of clear breathing, open your airways. It's great for massage. Um, you can use it for skin cleansing, um, cleaning. It's great in cleaning products, which is really cool. You can put a few drops in a carrier, like um, either coconut oil or different. There's tons of different carrier oils that you can use to massage into your skin. Like when you're tense, it helps with tension. It's great with lemon and peppermint and eucalyptus in a spray bottle. You can make your own cleaning to just put in a spray bottle, put your drops in, and you can clean off your kitchen, your bathroom, and you're using natural things, not the synthetic stuff that you don't want to breathe. You can apply a drop to your moist moisturizer and you smell it and it smells awesome. And it's also beneficial for your skin. And of course, the shower, wet towel. Oh, if you like put it on a wet towel and breathe it in. You can, another cool thing to do with eucalyptus is make your own little like frozen pack with like a little towel. And then you could put some eucalyptus on there and use it as a cooling pack. So eucalyptus, great, great oil. Um, it actually has um, 1-8-cineal in it, which is helpful for the respiratory. And it acts really great for anti-inflammatory. And there's a study out there it's you know how they do rats they work in rats a lot but it's showing that it's actually calming to the nervous system so great oil and i love the smell it's so good it's awesome and it's really great mixed with breathe in a diffuser really mm -hmm. great marjoram this oil is there's us julie at the gym yeah that's us that's a picture of me <laughs> yes me All too. right, this oil is has calming properties, and if you have a spasm, it helps to relax the muscle, and you can use it with things like peppermint and wild orange, rosemary, cypress, lavender, bergamot, ylang ylang, and ways to use it are to apply to the back of the neck to lessen feelings of stress. If you have a fussy child, dilute it, and you can use it on their feet prior to a nap. Um, also apply to your muscles before and after exercising. I prefer to use essential oils after I, after I've already cleaned up and then I put them on and then it promotes healthy immune function. And then you can add it to the soothing massage blend or the deep blue for any of your muscles. I like to use this before bed. Sometimes I've taken it internally with frankincense. And I have noticed it really helps with the inflammation. I notice it within an hour after it's really absorbed into my body. Mm, that's cool. Okay. You know, it's also great. People use it with, that suffer from the headaches that they get with the aura and stuff. It, mm, it really, yeah. it is one of the oils that they recommend to use for that. Also with your people like me that have osteoarthritis, um, it really works great. It's really high in monoterpenes. Great, great oil. I like that it's known as the joy of the mountains or the symbol of happiness. Oh, I like that. Right? It just makes it sound so, I don't know, romantic oil. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to talk about basil essential oil. Mm, I love basil. Basil's a great oil. It's got a warm, spicy, yet herbal aroma. It helps with anxious feelings. It provides great benefits to both the mind and body. It is very high in linalool, and linalool is very calming. It's great for, um, you can put it on your neck, your temples to help with stress. It's great for cooking. You can add herbal, this herbal flavor to your meats, your pastas. Um, it's very cooling to the skin, which is nice. So for me, sometimes it helps when I'm having my flashes. I put a little bit on the back of my neck and it helps me because I cannot always use the peppermint like I like because of my, um, reflux. So basil really helps me with that. It's also great for focus. So if you are, you know, you can use it for your muscle tension and then put it in your diffuser and it really does help you focus if you're working on a project or studying, reading, 
it's great if you mix it with wintergreen, like the deep blue products too. It really, it, it's just that synergistic effect that you get. Um, you can add it, you know, to foods. It is one of those that you can take internally. Um, and it also can improve your plant growth. So you can use it in your garden and it also helps protect your, in your garden against environmental threats. So it's a great, great oil. Our next oil is helichrysum and our final oil. This is derived from the Greek Helios sun and chrysos, meaning gold, if I said that right. So referring to the color of the flowers. And it's been used in herbal health practices since ancient Greece, and the oil is highly valued and sought after for its many health benefits. It's restorative, and it's really good for the skin if you have a cut in your skin to help to seal it. And it... You can put on areas of blemishes or to apply the face to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and to promote glowing and youthful complexion. You can massage in the temples, the back of the neck, uh, blah, blah. Now I'm messing up my words, Michelle. Um, <laughs> the, back, the back of the neck for a soothing sensation. And um, yeah, so if you have stretch marks, it helps with that. And I would use frankincense also with it, but it's really good and helps your body heal when you have some kind of something on your skin, particularly, this is not an internal oil. And um, so if you have a cut, try putting some helichrysum on it and it will really help speed up the healing process. You, it combines well with geranium, clary sage, rose, lavender, and some of the spice oils and citrus oils. It is a great oil. So the power of aroma, we talked about that. And actually, one of the cool things about when you're smelling an oil, you know, anytime we smell stuff, it triggers our memories because, you know, that's how our brain works. And when you smell an essential oil, you're actually breathing in the aroma. And we have receptors on the upper surface of like of where our nasal cavity, where we're breathing in. And that's directly connected to the limbic system of the brain. And the limbic system of the brain actually governs our emotional responses. So it's really amazing. And they're doing so many studies with um, the, uh, the power of this aroma that what it, what it does to us, how it's, it triggers our emotions and our feelings. And not only does it trigger emotions and feelings, it also connects to other areas of the brain that really control our body. It's linked with the hypothalamus, so it's going to control, you know, physiologic functions in our body because that whole thing, like the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland or master gland, they all regulate like our blood pressure, hunger, thirst, uh, thyroid function, our sleep cycles, our production of sexual hormones, memory. So it's very... That's, I think, why aromatherapy and aroma, I love that word, because really that's what it, we're doing. We're smelling in it, smelling it, and it's triggering our brain, it's triggering emotions, but not only that, it's working physiologically on our body. And so when you're diffusing, you're getting that power of that smell, and you're getting the physiologic effects too. And you're also purifying the air. So it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, there's so much to it. And right now they're doing a lot of studies with people with PTSD and aromatherapy and helping um, get them to, you know, when you smell something and it triggers so that they can relax. Like I know for me, wild orange triggers me to just relax and calm down as soon as I smell it. So for me to use it during the day to get through work and my little personal aroma fire, it really helps me get through the day. And even when I'm feeling stressed, when I come back to it and I, I smell it when it's, you know, I have a little fan going and I smell that it just, immediately it will calm me down a little bit, which is great. So a lot to the brain, and that could be a whole, whole hour talk in itself, but just know that when you're inhaling, you are actually affecting the physiology of your brain and your body. I started using essential oils for anxious feelings, and lavender was the first one, and the aroma really helped me, especially during my nursing tests, and helped me calm down. Then I started the Lifelong Vitality Pack to help to normalize the amount of vitamins and minerals and balance in my body but I still use lavender and I use a lot of essential oils for their aroma and I diffuse I just I love them some of them you just they just call out to you and you just know that that's the oil that you need 
That's true. And I think the oils change that we need all the time because our body changes all the time. Oh yeah. That's, and right. Yeah. And there's scanners that help you know exactly which oils you need at that moment in time that are pretty accurate. And anyone on my team watching this call, if you are in my area, you can come get a scan for free. And then if you're interested in hosting a class, perhaps you are already enrolled on our team or you aren't, you can do a class with us. And we have a lot of freebies that we offer for those who are doing classes. So you can earn some free oils or products. And this class is offered in a Facebook version. And then we can do with you and tell you what things you can earn or win by doing the class. And we love doing classes for our team and for people interested in essential oils. So feel free to message us naturalwellnessnurse at gmail.com or energyemotionlv at gmail.com. And what's great about doTERRA is you can get the free product of the month or you can, well, it comes to about 12 free oils a year and you can do their loyalty rewards, which is a member rewards program where you can get even more free oils. And I, Michelle has about, I don't know if you've cashed in them in yet, about 500 dollars worth of free oils waiting for you to purchase for free <laughs> yes i just did cash some in because oh, they, they build yes because it just did before this class because they build up once you're getting going and you you've built up to that extra 30 percent i mean really it, you know you're you're always getting points back it's awesome and you know i'm i'm all big about saving money and like the coupons and and the you know the oh, deals yeah. and doTERRA yeah. does does do that right. That's why it's voted one of the number one companies in, in the country. And you can buy essential oils retail or you can get them wholesale. Most people become wholesale customers, which you cannot sell essential oils. And then if you really want to sell, you can do that later. But the, the accounts like Costco, where you can buy once a year, buy every month, however you want to do it, but you always get 25% off. And then extra savings if you and when you choose to buy monthly. It's the most intelligent way to buy your essential oils. If you guys are getting free, Shell just got five hundred dollars worth of oils free. I think that's pretty much worth it. And I've been using them too. I mean, it's still and it still yeah. builds up. Yeah, and um, perhaps you want to get your oils for free, or you want to make some money with this. It, it, First, I was using essential oils for a couple of years, and then I thought that I want to get my oils for free. And then once I got my oils for free, I wanted to get more things paid for so I could be able to teach others about essential oils and get paid for my time. And so maybe you want to teach classes as a ministry and make a difference in someone's life by sharing the gift of essential oils or just make some money. But uh, this is all about changing lives and helping others heal they spiritually financially and this may just be the opportunity you're looking for and I mean what would you do with an extra five hundred dollars a month um thousand I mean even more than that people are making great money with this by sharing with those they love and people they come in contact with even online and how would it make a difference for your family or those around you Well, if you, if you, you know, want to use your oils, you can be a user, sharer, builder. It doesn't matter. It's all what you want, what you're interested in, you know, how it fits into your life. Because if you say you're a user, someone who just uses essential oils for yourself and your family, you still, if you're enrolled in the LRP program, you're still getting points back and, and getting you, your oils paid for. A sharer Someone who, you know, you get excited, you want to share, you want to teach, get people to understand about the power of essential oils and natural healing. You can hold classes, you can talk to others. Or if you want to be a builder, you know, like I love the oils. I'm excited about using them. I believe in them. They've changed my life. I'm very big into the holistic care. So I, my vision is to just tell the world about using essential oils you know i mean that's huge to me because it really does change people's lives it amazes me how people are so 
so gung-ho about taking Tylenol, but if you offer them an essential oil, they look at you like you're crazy sometimes. But, you know, Tylenol is synthetic, and I'm not against Western medicine. I believe in it, but I believe sometimes we overuse the meds. And this is just another way to become more natural, to use stuff as prevention, to stay healthy, you know, to work with stuff that ails you, to work in conjunction with Western medicine. So you can be a user, sharer, or builder. It's all up to you and where you're at and what you want. You make the most of it. You call the shots. And you can always upgrade to sharing and making money with doTERRA, but you're never obligated to do that. But I feel like it's an obligation to share with people and help them know about the amazing benefits because I used to use a lot of non-oil products and now I hardly do just when it's really necessary. But I go to essential oil first and it's just, just incredible now that I have these tools in my hand, in my hands, so that I can help myself when I'm having discomfort or pain or anxiousness or something like that. I just, I just couldn't help it, but now I'm sharing and doing this. And I'm so grateful for those who have joined this webinar. doTERRA does have special offers like the oil of the month. And also you can get, uh, just contact us because every month there's a new promotion. And if you're wanting to get started or perhaps you want to share with people and tell them about the special offers, we can help you out or contact your upline for the person who enrolled you and they can help you know which the special offers are. And thank you for attending. We're so grateful that you were able to make it out and um, hop on this Zoom call. And for those who are watching the recording and, and um, we're hoping you got some benefit from learning about all the essential oils there's so many and there's so much to learn but you just just take it one at a time right just one yeah. at a time and you know to, and don't don't let it overwhelm you because i know it can be overwhelming at first but then you just keep learning and growing and and enjoying the oils and finding new ways to use them all the time so we're really happy you did attend with us and we're happy to get the word out let us know if you have any questions anything you need answered if we don't know, we're willing to try to figure it out for you. And I'm going to stop the recording, but I will stay after for a few minutes, Michelle and I, to answer your questions. Thank you so much for joining, and we hope that you get to start using your central oils a little more and um, have some more toolbox. Yes.